Welcome to Showverse. We're your hosts, Kylene and Taya. Hello. And today we will be reacting to Ruby, Volume 8, Episode 3. With well, jingles, because I got back from birthday party and now it's glow in the dark. But before we begin, she has some yeah. things. Okay, so one thing, which I realized last night while I was watching Ruby, is everyone's based off a lot of yes, her illusion of semblances, or her... <laughs> I don't... Y'all know what I mean. Anyways, so in Aladdin, the genie makes, um, oops, makes Aladdin into a prince, yes? Yes. Okay. And what was that? It was just an illusion, right? Yeah. Huh. Yeah, see? I could see that. Yeah, see, I, I just got that last night because I'm an idiot. The Grimm that we saw. Oh, the one that yeah. had the sprouted wings and all that other yeah, stuff? Yeah, I don't have to speak. That... It's called the Hound, and that's its name. It's based off, what we can understand, it's based off the, um, wolf in Little Red Riding Hood. And that right? makes sense. No, well, listen, listen. Mm -hmm. So that's why the theory is that Grim was Summer. No. <laughs> yeah. Why? <laughs> How? What did Salem do? I don't know. See, that's, what, that's why it's just a theory, because no one knows. We just assume the thing, and... Anyway, for all that we know, oh my god, I can hear that. So, if it really does do the Silver Eyes thing, it could kill Summer, the Hound, it could restore Summer back to her body, or it could keep the Grim form but have so much personality. I don't think it would be Summer, though. Like, unless, of course, she has, like, some kind of control over it, which is very possible. She doesn't seem to. Mm. Anyways. Theory 3. Okay, anyways. Neo! Next next episode. There's a chance she'll talk. Um, this was from... You know that YouTuber dad showed us? So, like, Phoenix Knight or Night Phoenix or whatever. Oh, yeah. 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 So, this theory is... In the first episode, we see a poster for six or seven swans, right? I forget which one it is, because I'm bad remembering that. This... this anyways. So... Um... There's a fairy tale called The Seven Swans, or Six Swans. Again, I don't know. It's about, um, King or something forced to marry this witch's daughter, and the daughter chases away. Brothers end up being turned into swans. Okay, it's not obvious by the title. Right? And the only one who was not turned was the sister. And so the younger brother. And approaches, and yeah, approaches one day and like, hey, sis, if you take a vow of silence for six years and sew these sweaters, we can be human again. Right? And there's a whole other story. And you can watch the video. I'm sure mom, if you remember, so we'll put the theory in the description. Yeah. So, with the next episode in a week being uh, Volume 8, Episode 4, and when we were introduced to Neo was Volume 2, Episode 4, that's six seasons, six years, the all sounds will be over. That would be really yeah, cool. Yeah, so Neil might start talking next next episode. Let's, let's, let's cry again. And scream. Oh and, yeah. And all the that. other emotions. I love this song though. Honestly. Still can memorize. I want to wait for the other half so I'm like super excited to figure out what that is. And like, can people get another song this episode? I want another song. Maybe. They usually get release it every couple of episodes before the song. Please, I need another song to memorize. I have nothing to do. Oh, then, yeah, Strelsey comes to us for like a week. Try over the Phantom being a disaster and poor thing, poor Oscar. Taking your Oscar. I don't like how John's so far away from them. That makes me nervous. I know. Something's gonna happen also, to like, Team Juniper. Like Willow, what are you? Do why? Why? What are you and Whitley doing? Is she okay? That cracking also terrifies me. Yes. I only know that pink flower is from. It might be summer for all we know. You know the hound. Maybe. But then I'm curious. Oh, have gone to Ruby, not Nora. So. Uh. I still think that that was Salem, maybe. Well, we'll find out. And what about Nora's grandmother? Because 
Just to say that that was Freya, but we're not entirely sure because no one never knew Freya was there. True. How bad would that be if she finds out from them later that her grandmother died and she... Uh, yeah, it's like, oh, by the way, if any saw your grandmother's powers, apparently your grandmother made them, so, like... Oh, wow, she's dead, by the way. Yeah. I don't like this already. It's oh, on screen. There's noises. Was that Oscar? I swear. I think it was. I'm gonna cry, guys. Oh, okay. It was just a movie. We're good. Nothing to worry about. Because, like, in the third one, Pyrrha went down. Yeah, there's a Pyrrha the one. Minute. There was volume five. There was volume seven. And we have volume eight. Another awkward. What happened with volume sevens? I don't remember that one. Going up to see Ironwood? Oh, yeah, the first time. Yeah, okay. That's where she saw Penny. She's keeping time uh, off. Don't press the button. It's on the way up here. Oh, the button's on the way here. It wasn't me. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> cool. <laughs> yeah, there's a long time thing of disembodied hands. Oh, it's green. Yeah. Welcome back. Like, oh, my God. That's gotta send out red flags to Ironwood there. Oh, yeah. Where to next, Penny? Because you know he's looking for us. This reminds me of like a James Bond type thing. To command. Do not worry. Ruby is capable of traveling at an extreme velocity from one point to another by breaking herself down to her molecular components, thus negating her mass, and then reassembling them at the destination, theoretically making it possible for her to transport all of us in the same way, as mass no longer matters. Uh, what? what? You can use your semblance on all of us. She did before when she was wheeling Penny, north. Just figure that out before you did. Like, she knew you were a faunus before I did. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that. I remember. <laughs> is she, she a like man? Tuna? She does like tuna. <laughs> she the, is she a man? What? No. Yeah. Is she a man? Have you made any progress? Oh, God. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. The keys of the hacker. I called it! I called it! He's trying to find Penny, and he's using Sadly, Watts. Oh, I called it! Guess he was right. Oh, I trust you okay, I remember this in, like, ever. Oh, the trust is palpable. <laughs> he is funny. He reminds me of you with your comments. <laughs> You're right. About the calling the answer. Protected in the compound. Status alert level three. Red. Lockdown initiated. Authorization granted to handle any threat with legal force. James, no. Joking. The pneumatic tubes have all been closed off. We're trapped. We passed a hangar. I can hijack an airship and get us off this floating rock. Wait. We can still succeed. We are so close. Uh oh. Should be good. 
Yeah, it's Nora. Or maybe they have her doing something else right now. I can't believe you've done this. Oh, my puppet's gone. It's. Stand back, please. No. They're searching for you. You just gave them another red flag of exactly where you're at. Really, Vinny? Really? What is this? Uh, where is everyone? This is a highly classified area. Yeah. Which is why you're just cut. See? Told you. Oh. <laughs> no, I was like, ew. She's going to end up taking that electricity in, isn't she? She's 100% going to try to poke it. I like trying to poke it. You have not electricity resistant. Because I'm going to eat it. Hey, Dad. Oh, she goes to bed. Oh. Huh? Hey, her eyes turned gold. Oh, God. Okay. 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 I was okay. not expecting that. I kind of was, because, you know, spoilers and everything that go on, but, like, I honestly wasn't expecting the voice. Like, wow, alright. But, then, like, it's almost like the Oz and Oscar thing, or Oz in general thing, because, oh, with the gold the eyes, thing. voice talking, and the fact the that green dads, green AU, oh my god, it's coming to life. Y'all hear this? The color green, that's with the multiple stuff. It's the team, it's the team green AU again. <laughs> yeah. They're back. <laughs> well, they're gonna form family now. Removing the pennies from Amity Coliseum. I see. <laughs> not ready for any of this, is she? <laughs> She's like, honestly, how would you respond to this? Be like, uh, cool, I guess. Hmm. Nora. <laughs> like okay, me. Okay. That's a mood. I've never seen Yang and Ruby fight like this. Don't worry. They're sisters. Sometimes sisters just have very different ideas about what's right. Sometimes we try to kill each other with spoons. <laughs> no, like. Or forks with me and my brother. <laughs> it's like siblings, like, bullying to assume siblings, like, pretend to care. Like, Yang and Ruby's relationship is like sibling goals no one's ever gonna reach. In, in all fairness, though, the reason why they probably were like that was because of the, what happened with their families, their mothers particularly. Like, that's probably why they got, like, bonded as they did, and Yang did act more like a mother figure than an actual it's sister. Still, there's still, like, stupidly high sibling goals. Yeah. Like, with Ellie, like. Like, no. Like, I, there's no way I'm gonna, like, hug her and, like, Try to comfort her. Like, no, I will I'll poke her with a broom or something and be like, you wanna watch Hamilton to make you stop crying? Or I mean, I guess I'll make you more cry because John Lawrence. If you mention John Lawrence, that's gonna break down crying. Nah, they'll be fine. John's a great leader. I'll oh. on a ton and Yank is more than capable Oscar's of gone. Fight. Is she? Is she though? Is she really? Rewind that one a little bit because I didn't hear all what she said there. She goes, much. John's a great leader, Oscar's grown a lot, and uh, Yang's great in a fight. And she's like, is she though? Who lost their arm in a fight? Okay, that was with Adam, okay? And? Adam is a badass. If he wasn't a bad guy, he'd be pretty cool. I like Adam. Well, I did until... He died? Or turned crazy? More the crazy part. The death he is was crazy the, death. the entire time. Yeah, yeah, but it didn't show it all the way through until the end. And then it's just like, holy crap. <laughs> that boy is insane. I've never seen Yang and Ruby fight like this. Don't worry. They're sisters. Sometimes sisters nice, have though. very different ideas yes. about what's Also, like, like Nibu? Yeah, like, that's that's the worst. Fine. John's a great leader. Mm. Oscar's grown a ton. And Yang is more than capable. Uh, protecting them, yeah, so you're hoping for it too oh, much. And of course Ren is um I don't know what he is. 
Launching themselves out in the arena while they uh, to do the satellite thing and get the communication. Who's <laughs> really expect they're all gonna die? Maria's gonna die. Oh yeah, both of them are gonna die. Maybe not Penny because you know plot armor, but you know none of that was that. I think Maria's dying. gonna sacrifice herself to save either to save uh, Polandina. Yeah. Why can't I remember his first name? Pietro. Pietro. That's right. Oh, uh, they're both gonna die. You'd think I'd remember it, considering that's the name of Quicksilver from freaking Marvel. I love Quicksilver. You think. I think they're both gonna die. Maybe not from sacrificing, but they're both gonna die. Maybe, maybe one of the mothers true from old age. <laughs> like, how's one died naturally instead of being burnt alive, stabbed to death, broken, Fran drowned. technically died naturally. She let herself. She was old. I Granted, know. there was all, like, the whole whirlwind yeah, thing, but whirlwind that, was, that was her doing, like, not could someone else. Did someone die without Cinder's influence? Like, Jesus Christ. Yeah. Good the question. vault. She can't get to the relic. So maybe it is for the best. Um, guys, we should probably head to the hangar. Quick, <laughs> great way to change the subject. <laughs> She's gonna get hacked. I'm gonna scream. We all have to do some things. We would rather not. Oh, I'm not ready for this. I'm not ready for this. <laughs> I'm not ready for this. They want to like super like terrified now. Like something's gonna. Damn! <laughs> Look at their faces. Like this is this is how you know something's going on. Like hello, kids. Ah, uh, Marrow. Look at how like Harriet looks ready for murder. No surprise there. He um, looks indifferent. Yeah, he's always indifferent. Him, yeah. Well, he's he, always like that. He looks like that's his neutral face. Yeah. I don't know what she's doing. She's just kind of here. And then poor Mara looks like he's like, please. I just like go like play down in a corner and cry. Time to come home now, Penny. So your first time losing to us wasn't enough. Penny doesn't want to fight. Hold it back. We have all said some things we regret, but please hear me out. I know you thought that was going to be too close. Just saying, but I don't think he's going to do anything. Here now, things have changed. If General Ironwood plans to leave Mantle behind, nothing has changed. Why are they hiding their hands? Except I thought for... you were supposed to protect the people, not hurt them. I, I would is... never hurt I'm anyone who winters in critical condition because of you. And you repaid her by stealing the power that should have been hers. But taking the maiden power was the only way to If you keep refusing to do the right thing, people in Atlas and Mantle are going to die. You could stop all of this, Penny. Just open the vault, hand over the relic, and you'll save Atlas. But it won't save Atlas. No, because then Atlas is gonna fall. Did y'all learn nothing in science class? I I have to be honest, I haven't learned anything in science class this year because 
This year. I don't even want to talk about this year. This <laughs> year, I like from March to now, I've learned absolutely nothing except for, you know, whales have hip bones. <laughs> That's all I've learned from Mrs. Abishev. Sailor will find her way Whatever. to the relic no matter where you go. Once Ironwood opens the vault, the relic is as one as more word. And I'm throwing you in jail right next to your uncle. Right. Harriet! <gasps> Harriet, she that didn't was know. low. But she didn't know. That was the, she she's gonna go it. after Crow. Shh. She's gonna go after Crow. This Shh. is gonna ruin the whole mission. This is gonna ruin the whole mission. Play. Oh my God, play it. Oh my God. Her alone. And what are you gonna do about it, Tin Pan? Harriet. He not. <laughs> Nora. This is what I told. I knew she was gonna do it. No. Oh, Maiden Penny. Maiden Penny. Oh. Oh. He's crazy. How do you like to do that? I mean, she is a robot. Oh, and she was watching Frida. You will not hurt my friends. No, oh, I remember those. Yeah. You gotta admit though, she's doing pretty good using her powers and the main powers all together. Ew. You're gonna kill him! Can you stop chucking Marrow off the edge, please? Oh, okay, we only have a little bit left. We have learned enough. What about Oscar? What about Joyride? What about Crow and Robin? Like, what's well, going on with everyone else? Knows about why, do we, why do we need to do nothing but watch Sandwich? I don't wanna watch Sandwich, I wanna see Oscar! Oh I'm scared for him! Help. Help! I think Oscar's gonna be the next time. He better be! With Neo. He's all the ice cream. Right away, I'm blue, according to Morgan. Oh! Come on, Nora! Use the. Oh, take wait. the electricity! Yeah, it's going great. I'm sorry, but look at Amber. Amber. Yeah, she was she was against three and she lost and got. In all fairness, Pierrot. though, the one semblance was the uh, illusions, illusions, but Amber saw through it at the end and jumped away. I mean, I guess it was kind of kind of a problem when one of your opponents is part grim. Thanks, Salem. Oh dear. Oh god. Oh no. <gasps> Something's gonna happen. Yeah. Is that the scene from the trailer? Yes. Oh, that. holy. Hold on. Hold the flip phone. I am holding the phone. What was that? She's somebody, she was only using a fraction because she was worried. She's not going to hold back anymore if this keeps up. Because she knows she has to save everybody, and if they're going to get in her way, she's going to have to stop them. This is going great. Oh, gosh. This is going to get really bad. Really bad. That's another statement of the year. Ruby's going to end up stopping her from destroying the them, probably. I don't know. Super Oh, sh wow. Okay. That's right. Remember, she can... She I know, run. but like, wow. Whoa. Oh wow, overpowered much. I forgot about that. I don't. I wasn't expecting that. We have to get out there. Nora. He's strong. I'm trying to get stuff. Hey, that's the scene from the trailer too. So it's that. That's all I'm sore. Why was it all taking so long to buckle this thing? So they collectively share an ex-wife.
Yes. Right? So, it's like, it's not, none of the authors choose us. Dixon, um, Osman, Oscar, the King, like, the Infinite Man, they didn't ask for any of this. They just kind of got dragged into it, like Oscar did, everyone seems to forget that. None of this was chosen, except for Osman, who did it, but he thought, he didn't expect Grim Salem. He did, he wasn't expecting Salem to be a Grim. He wasn't expecting to be, to find out his wife was now murderous and would kill him and their children. Like he wasn't expecting him to fight her. He just wanted to see her again. And the brothers decide, oh yeah, hey, let's send this man back to the world of the living with no context other than reunite humanity. It's like first of all. Have you seen the state of this world? Like, there's no re- there's no uniting them. Like, if you had to put Remnant, we don't know how big it is compared to, you know, Earth. Like, it seems big, right? It's just like, vacuums. So they will- they will rather pickpocket you, okay? I mean, they will unite underneath a common enemy, but like, the vacuums. They will stab you in the back, literally and figuratively, like Neon used to do to Cinder. At least the end, man and the people on Mantle, they're at war with themselves. They can't, there, ain't, there ain't no reuniting them with the rest of the world. Mistral. Mistral already insane with the way they are and their whole, their whole everything. Yeah, their kingdom, their, 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 and Veil is currently in pieces. Not to mention the Faunus, which are being. Yeah, with everything that happened with, because of Taurus and Menagerie and everything, and the fact that they're, they're still being segregated, there's yeah, just... Yeah, Yeah, there's just no way. Yeah, there's no way. And, like, this is the brother's fault, because they don't... They they gave no fine print. They gave no contract in general. It's like, hey, you want to go save the world? What's in it? Um, you don't have to be alone forever. Okay. It's like... I'm like, can y'all stop hitting on the wizards? Like, they're trying, okay? Okay. Please. We have, like, only a couple minutes left, right? Almost. Yeah. Uh, one. Most- I had half that's credits. May has such pretty eyes. What's Penny doing? Oh, yeah, she's looking. I'm concerned. She's gonna get caught. How do I say them? It wouldn't surprise me. Kill someone. Oh. Who's ready for? Who's ready to stop murder? Who's ready to murder someone in general? Like, I don't I, know. Watts, I will. I, I don't like Watts. He's <laughs> officially in the bad corner. Just, just stay. Just go. Someone bash his skull in or something like that. Oh my gosh. That's the end, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. Okay, hold on. We need to check the ending. The credits. We didn't even get a song. Check in the credits. Check in the credits. Check in the credits. Oops. I think Rose. Well, that was a really help. hefty episode. We didn't even get to see Joyride or Oscar or Crow or Robin or Salem. Kind of disappointed. I mean, that episode was neat. We got to see Penny. Penny's always awesome. We, we got to mention them all, though, at least. We got mentions of Crow being in jail. This is gonna really is gonna end up messing up the entire mission again, mind you. She is, once everything settles down, she's going to break back in there and she's going to try to rescue her uncle. Yeah, and that's going to cause, it's going to be a problem, it's going to end up a disaster because... And their group's going to get thinner and thinner because of the fact everyone's yeah. going to go off and do their own thing. Because you know, as soon as Nora finds out about Oscar and the fact that Ren's going after them, she's going to go after Sam uh, too. If Nora will even be able to function in the next couple episodes. Yeah, because she is definitely all that red. You know, what? I wonder if she's going to get like... You know, kind of like Thor with Thor. Like, he lost you know, an eye, Nora loses her body. <laughs> she becomes a ball, big ball of electricity. <laughs> <laughs> well, her hair needs to be fixed, but like... With the season taking over place only over two days, that's not a lot of time to recover from that. So Nora might be out of it for the rest of the season. So that's worrying. Um, 
And if something happens to Ren while she's out, you know she's going to blame herself on it entirely. Yeah. Ryu is going to mess everything up again because she's going to be going after Her and Yang are usually very good about that from what I've seen. Yeah, like, she's going to go after Crow, which is admirable because, you know, if your family member that you admire a lot was in jail, you would probably try to break them out too, which is legal, but, you know, these kids don't seem to follow rules. Teenage Rebellion, am I right? Um, <laughs> if you to that. Anyways, so, you know, that's kind of a disaster. Penny is already gone. She's off doing... Something. Something. Like, if she's gonna get hacked. Is she going to Pietro? Gonna... Is she going after the relic? No, she's not going after the relic, because the relic is actually there where they were just at, and that they couldn't get to it. Yeah. So, she, is she going back to Pietro? Is she... Oh, if she yes. goes to Pietro, she goes to the arena, if she goes anywhere, wherever that is, she's gonna get hacked. And, uh, which I called, by the way, so... Yeah, and uh, anyone in the vicinity of her is going to deal with either their, her maiden powers, her robot powers, a combination of all, and that's probably what's gonna get Maria and or Pietro killed. Oh yeah, they're both gonna die, they're gonna get laser beam, oh coming, my God. coming off. If she kills Maria by accident while she's in hack, that's gonna devastate her when she's oh, yeah, back when out it, of it, if, if she gets back out of it. Yeah, she does end up, you know, getting the relic, just killing everyone, and ending up on Salem's team some way or form, which it makes Salem have two maidens and two relics, this is and she has Oscar, so she knows how to get the lamp to work, and she knows where the other two relics are, and so that means... And Watt's getting her the relic with Penny's help, because he's on her side. He's gonna have Penny deliver the relic to Salem. Oh, yeah. She's, uh... She's remember the video getting crud? She yeah. had it! I told you. I told you. I called it. And no one listened. Oh my god. And and what if all of, like, a lot of these theories are right? Oh my god. I kind of hope oh, they're not, but they're gonna be, probably. Oh, this is terrible. <laughs> yeah, so next week, you said, what was the name of the episode, or is it not released yet? It was Strings. Strings? For this episode. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. No so... No one tells me the next episode. So the next episode, I am predicting it's going to be, um, probably... Oh my god, episode. they're called Strings because they cut a string to get the Penny Sword. Yeah. Wow. And divide because the groups left each yeah. other. It's like it's it's one word titles and it's very significant because that's apparently the most significant piece of the episode. Yeah, I'm scared of the next episode. So yeah, if next we, week I want okay, but yes. listen, next episode, give me music, please. For the love of God, just I want to I want to find something else to memorize so I can spend my week. I mean, it takes me like a day to memorize something, unless it's studying, and it takes me like ever, and then I don't learn it. Ooh, why is that crooked? That is, like, annoying me. <laughs> why is the outlet crooked? Do, do you guys want to see this? It's horrible. Ugh. Okay, so, uh, yeah, next week, I think it's going to be either with Oscar and what's going on with Salem, and or Joyride. with Team Joy... Jo Joy... Ugh, team, Joyride. Team Joyride. Or maybe they'll throw in a little bit of Cinder and Mio, because they haven't been there for a while either, and They're I'm okay with that. But there you go. Let me see... Let me see. Crow and Robin plot murder with Jocks just kind of sitting awkwardly in the corner because, you know. Go random. Show Sun's group. <laughs> yeah, what's Sun and Coffee doing? Are you guys okay over there? I know you guys just ha fought like a mini war against the crown, but like, are you guys okay? Are you dead yet? No, the question is on the timeline, is this cohesive with the second book in that see, or is it not? See, what I'm guessing is either the second book takes place either after the fight in Atlas, which, you know, if that's the case, I'm predicting James is gonna die. Um, or, which is like, after the, when Team Ruby and Juniper, if they're all still alive, is traveling to Vacuo. Or, it's during the fight of Atlas. And he it's could just not have a picture because of the fact that, you know, the rift with James and him going crazy and stuff, no. and Theodore will probably well, see. Because if it's during the fight, then, you know, Lionheart's dead, first of all, so that's why that picture's gone. And depending on which place, part, which um, option is for the timeline, that either James is dead or he has full-on betrayed the entirety of the Osamorati. Which, uh, you know, I've heard, it's called the Osamorati, and it's hilarious. See much, like, do you think there's more to the Osamorati that we haven't known? So, you know, it's the four headmasters. Team Stark wasn't it, but, you know, they're out except for Crow, who isn't, I'm not even sure what he's doing at this point. We have Glinda. Uh, one of the headmasters are dead. One's going crazy. One's also dead. 
Oh, not really dead. He's partially dead. He gets half a point. So, so far, we have like three and a half, which is tempting it. We have two and a half of these Illuminati left. It's like, Linda, yeah. first of all, are you okay? And what about Port? They're going to have to either recast him or braid him out completely. Because okay, well, that's what happened with the voice actor. Okay, but what about Glinda? I don't care about Port, really. He, I mean, but what about Glinda? Like, is she okay? What is she doing? And where is Bartholomew? I want to yeah, see Yeah, where's Ublek? I love Ublek. Ublek, where are you at? Come flame through this one. Brings oh. Y. <laughs> yeah, brings Y and Ty and Raven if you could. Like, if Ublek just comes over to this Ty, you're like, oh, Raven, I didn't know you were here. Um, but you wanna Let's go- go travel the crow! Yeah, you wanna go visit crow, we have family reunion where we light things on fire. Yes. <laughs> or some time. Oh and man, that'd be the best time for her to come out with her whole spring maiden powers and everyone be like, especially Ruby, like, really, Yang? Really? Honestly, Yang, what the fudge? <laughs> it's like- I'm so sorry, Ruther. It's like, so, about those secrets and lies, yeah. sis. <laughs> yeah, <Yes, you're> you're- <laughs> Honestly. Like, there's so many everyone's hiding from each other. Like, wow. But then again, who can you really trust in this world with the way they developed it and all the stuff okay, that's been yeah, happening? Yeah, but, like, the teams, the way they were before Volume 6 was like, oh, you trust, woohoo, friendship, yay, we all trust each other and tell each other secrets. And after Volume 6, it's just like, well, I guess we're all keeping secrets on murdering people and our mothers being spring maidens. Well, in all fairness, though, growing up, things change, like, in anything. So I could see that the reason why they're doing this is because of all the life experiences has, from childhood to adulthood. You know, has Yang and Blake told them about Adam? I don't know. Yeah, they don't, they didn't even glance on it. You know what? We should tweet Rooster Teeth and find out. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, well, did we just miss an episode? Or, you know, I probably just watched it. It's like, can you, that. like, expand on this lore a little bit for, you know, your <laughs> fans? Like, like, so yeah, if anyone from Rooster Teeth's watching, why would they watch? Can you tell us? I mean, I don't know. You never know with these things. Why would they watch us? I I you don't know. So I, I did interview a lot of them. Speaking of, check out my interviews on Showverse. <laughs> yeah. Have a good day, everyone.